Hello and welcome to the second lecture of uh, heterocyclic and polycyclic aromatic compounds. So, last time we have seen the introduction part, today we will see the electrophilic substitution in ferron. We have seen that why C2 substitution, electrophilic substitution is preferred in furan or for that matter in any 5 membered aromatic heterocycle. The reason is the relative resonance stabilization of the arenium ion intermediate. Uh, there are about 9 examples based on furan and then we will subsequently go for the nucleophilic substitutions in furan, then thiophene, pyrrole and so on. So, first example is this furan is treated with sulfur trioxide in pyridine and you get the sulfonic acid. So, sulfur trioxide is a neutral electrophile, but it is charged because the uh, polari polarization is because of the oxygen. Uh, and sulfur bond. Now, sulfur oxygen polarization is oxygen delta negative, sulfur delta positive. So, here you can show this way or you can directly put this pi bond. So, it will be or we can directly show the arrow and then it will be SO3 minus and on workup it will take up proton and you get sulfonic acid. We cannot use strong reagent like sulfuric acid because this is labile ring to mineral acid and that is why we use the mild reagent that is sulfur trioxide in pyridine. So, that is the reagent what we are using just to protect the ferron ring because aromatic electrophilic substitution of ferron uh, being the acid sensitive substrate we need to use milder reagent. So, sulfur trioxide in pyridine is another thing. Now, pyridine may help us in abstracting this proton that is the role of pyridine in this case. Okay. Now, the second example is diazonium coupling. Now, this aryl diazonium um, ion can be prepared from primary amine using nitrous acid. So, and this is the electrophile the actual electrophile we have to write like this. So, it will be here n triple bond n this is plus and the counter ion is there. So, once again you can show it like this and the positive charge on this nitrogen is rectified. So, this is a this yeah. then the intermediate also will put. So, it will be plus and then this proton is there. C L minus can abstract this proton and it will be lost as H C L. NaOH will take care of this and it will give it will give NaCl and water. So ultimately, the role of NaOH is also defined. It will it will trap the HCl and promote the reaction. So the rate of forward reaction will be higher in this case. Okay. The third example, HCN 
zinc chloride and hydrolysis so first of all h c triple bond n so first of all zinc will coordinate with this and then because of that there will be polarization of the bond so let me put double bond here double bond here and this will be c h double bond n okay and then it is hydrolysis so naturally this will undergo hydrolysis and you will get the like before that this has to come back and hydrolysis will furnish us the desired compound that is furfural so furfural is important intermediate for nylon synthesis and in fact it is highly reactive material can be used for so many uh, functional group in transformation so that is how the formulation is done so this is your classical Ketterman coach type reaction okay. then HCl and methanol now HCl methanol it is opening of this now HCl will coordinate like proton will coordinate with this and then methanol can attack and this will undergo opening and that is how this is a type of poly uh, polymerization because this ring is labile to HCl and then it is reacting with methanol this next one is this uh, acid is treated with acetic anhydride and HNO3 so we have seen that how acetyl nitrate is formed in C2 so COOH this is one part and then we know that this combination gives rise to acetyl nitrate now this acyl nitrate we can directly show the arrow here COH will remain this will also remain this will be NO2 this is plus and OSC minus can abstract this proton and you get the you get this compound so it is just the nitration but the selective region selectivity is if second position is blocked then 5 is available so nitration will take place here if both are blocked then nitration would take either on this or this position so that is how the region selectivity of poly substituted ferron ring is next one is this ferron is treated with ammonia and in presence of aluminum oxide or alumina when heated it will give rise to pyrrole so you can show the attack here and open it up so it will be OH let me put it this way and then it will be NH2 ultimately this NH2 will attack here this will go off so minus H2 can give us the that is how the mechanism you can put the role of ammonia uh, alumina is to take care of the water which is coming out and heating is also there so dehydration would be faster so that is how this reaction goes okay next example is this uh, ferron and uh, this is malic anhydride so it is the Diels-Alder reaction so ferron can be written like this and then it's a matter of adding like it is 4 plus 2 cycloaddition 4 plus 2 and then 
the product will be now there will be two products but uh, out of them one will be major that is endo this is endo product this is major the other one would be minor so this i have shown it beneath this uh, bridge head system so that is endo product this is also termed as endo rule which is there because the secondary orbital interaction the pi orbital of carbonyl group of the dienophile when interacts with the primary orbitals of diene there will be endo rule applicable the next one is acetic anhydride bf3 once again it is acylation reaction so this position is blocked so we have to look at another available position so you have cs3 and then bf3 once again it will bind with uh, this and it will help in uh, the attacking of this and this will go out so ultimately what we have co cs3 and then the cs3 would be there this is plus and the proton is lost so to give you the acyl derivative in which the second position was substituted now the electrophile is coming at five position which is available for electrophilic substitution reaction the ninth example is about the condensation of uh, acetophenone with uh, furan so actually it is uh, not furan let me put it properly this is aldehyde so it is aldol type condensation so and then ph co ch2 minus because role of nih is to abstract the proton so it is aldol type condensation reaction and then choh ch2 co h and then it is elimination of water molecule so that you get alpha beta unsaturated compound so that is how the entire reaction sequence would be so this is all for today next time i'll come up with some more examples on uh, furan and uh, even the nucleophilic substitution reactions in furan and then uh, we'll uh, move to the second compound that is pyrrole then thiophene pyridine and so on okay thank you very much